Okay, so a point I would like to make is that I'm, I'm not making stupid faces here, but this is the reflection of the water. So I'm filming myself from below the waterline. This is how calm the ocean is these days in Darwin. And this is the amazing critter life we're seeing these days. So almost on every dive, we see ghost pipefish. We, we see both the robust as well as the hurricane ghost pipefish. These are seahorse relatives. The highly camouflaged, in this case, as a piece of seaweed, this is a fingered dragonet, Dactylopus dactylopus, and you can see how it's moving its gill cover in order to oxygenate its scales. Um, this is filmed with natural light, so hence we have this dappling effect. We see an ample amount of nudibranchs, uh, sea slugs, uh, the feelers you see on the top of the animal are called rhinopores. They are olfactory organs, so they're essentially there to smell out the way for these mollusks. There's quite a variety of nudibranchs to see in Darwin, which normally we don't have. Um, we usually have a lot of shrimp. This is not different now. Uh, this individual is uh, resting on the tentacle of a sand anemone. I believe you can see the eggs in the abdomen of this shrimp. Uh, there is a large variety of species of small crustaceans in Darwin, almost always. I always enjoy watching echinoderms. These are fire urchins. The name is very apt. If you touch them, it burns. They are extremely venomous animals. Um, the floppy thing in the middle is the anal sac. So I hope you enjoyed this selection of critters here. You, you think that shark face makes it go faster? Definitely, definitely. Lightning bolts. Can I put you lightning bolts. Shark face too. Uh.